create realistic composites with advanced color transfer is our topic today on Luminar Coffee Break. Let's see what we can accomplish in 10 minutes or less, starting now. Hello everyone and welcome. Really excited about this topic because it's a new feature you'll be working with. Um, this used to take forever for me to do in Photoshop when I first created it, because you'll see how we're gonna take this image here, and then from there, we'll use this image, and we're gonna create this. Now, it doesn't seem like it's a big deal, but the issue that we're dealing with is the color transfers to make it look realistic, and that's what I wanna show you. So let's start with our, or let's start with this image here. So that's my background. That's what I want it to end up with. So when we come over to layers, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add, which I already, I, I added him already in my list. His name is Joe. And let's move it all the way to the end. So we added Joe. Now to get this shot, I photographed him on what's called an Apple box. You kind of can see it here. And I try to mimic the bench. So now I have the proper positioning of what he's at, where he's at. Now what I need to do is get rid of that background. So from here, I tried portrait background removal. That was good. But for this image, because of the helmet, the background removal worked even better. So let it do its magic. It's analyzing the black, him as a subject, and it's going to try to figure out what it thinks will be a really good um, cut out. And look, look at that. Great job. Let's remove it. Here comes the magic. And. Here it comes. Boom! Look at that. But of course he's up high. So, drag. I'm gonna drop him down low. There, now he looks like he's sitting on the bench. All right? Now you do still see the apple box down in here. Don't worry about that. We could go in and mask it all out, but I don't need to. So, what we're going to do, and by the way, just so everyone know, we are broadcasting this live in front of the insiders group. So every so often you may hear somebody accidentally speak up. Um, so please keep your mics uh, muted. So now that I did this, I have it all set. Here's the problem we're going to deal with. All right. The lighting or the, the color on the background and the color on him is not going to match. All right. So. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna come over here and I'm gonna apply that new color transfer tool. Now, what reference do I wanna use? Well, I wanna use, and I could put the plus sign to go search for it, but I already have it in here. I wanna use the background as a reference. So if I click on the background, now look what it's doing. It's analyzing all the colors in that background. And it's gonna try to emulate those colors and put it on just the player. So as it's analyzing it, it's looking for the best scene. And then once it does it, it's gonna give me more um, options just so I could tweak it even more, all right? So in the past, what I used to do is pray <laughs> that I could create a LUT, a lookup table to match the back and the front of the person and then to apply it. So let's see, Zoom is taking up a lot of my resources right now. Normally this, this was done in a matter of five to 10 seconds, but here we are, look at that. So you see what it just did? So it just created, let me move it up here. It just took and gave me what I was looking for. Now, until we are able to merge the layers, we do have to do one extra step and what that's gonna be is I'm gonna to have to export this. And I'm gonna export this to another temporary folder just so I can bring it back in. I'm gonna show you what I did here. And then I'm gonna to to add it, which I did, to it. So now I went out and now there it is with the color correction we just did. Now these layers I don't need anymore, but I'm gonna leave them, all right? I'm gonna take this 100%. 
All right, now, it still looks fake. Even though the colors look good, we have to adjust the lighting now. All right? So, what we're going to do for lighting... Oh, <laughs> and I'm so sorry. Let's not forget my favorite feature, my favorite tool that Skyline created for me. And that's my beautiful dramatic. Look at this. I'm going to add more drama and, and the dramatic tool to this. And I'm also going to take the brightness. Let's adjust this. Ooh, look at that. See how that's giving me more of the mood I'm looking for? I like, oh, I like that right there. Look at that. All right, we got what I'm looking for. And I might as well, while I'm here, use the face tool. And we'll apply a little light right to his face. But here's what's really going to sell this for me. I kind of still see that Apple box. So what I'm going to do is this. Remember, global change. I'm going to make everything look dark. And right now, look, it did a great job on that Apple box. So I'm going to come in with a, a, a linear gradient. And I'm going to apply it right up to about there. Let's see what it does. Yeah, look at that. See how it's hiding it? And I got one more to do. And yet, and that's really going to sell it. But the reason why I'm using this fin our vignette Come in. There we go. Look at that. But here's what I'm really using it for right here the inner light. Look at that. So I'm able to actually add more. Look before, after, now the attention is drawn on him. There we have it. So we started, you know, with, with, with a backdrop. This is the digital one, of course. And now look how we finish it off by having him on uh, the, the locker scene with that light. And it looks at, look, see how that light looks as if it's really coming down on him. And that's because we use the other tools inside Luminar Neo. All right. So that was a sneak peek for everyone on the new color transfer tool. If you haven't upgraded yet, here's the link um, for the special perks for the insiders. And for you watching it, uh, make sure you use the QR code or press, uh, or if you're going to type it in, l.skylum.com. L or link.skylum.com forward slash, and this would be Coffee Breaks with an S. Check it out. And what's going to happen is this. You'll end up on our website, which I want to give a shout out to our team who thankfully went, we went through a really bad attack last night. Oh, here it is. And they quickly got the, the website back up and running. And unfortunately, they were, um, there was also aerial attacks, bomb ra um, aerial raids. All right, so here we are. You get to this point. You type in that, that, go all the way down to the bottom. Right here, already own Luminar Neo. Your custom offer is here. All right? This is my uh, verification, my account. But notice when I go to it, I don't get the same offers you guys have. I get other offers, but I'm not going to get your offers because I, <laughs> mine's on a 10-year unlimited. So therefore, I can't upgrade any further. So if you don't see Luminar Neo here, chances are it's because you have the best deal already. And there's other features that you guys can look into down there. So once again, if you're interested, take a quick snapshot of this where we watch the recording. All right? So, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Now, if you're here, part of the Insiders Group, stick around for the Ask Me Anything segment, where you can ask me any questions whatsoever pertaining to photography, Luminar, or any of the topics we just talked about. For everyone else, thanks so much for joining us, and we'll see you at the next Coffee Break.